Hey guys, today I want to talk about a build that I've been using recently on my Voidwalker Warlock. I'm going to be showing Warlock some love today. This is a heroic strike and general PvE build that aims to spam as many abilities as you possibly can as quickly as you can. This is an incredibly fun, very, very aggressive build. First up, gearing. Bad Juju is going to be your primary weapon, although Zalo Supercell is an acceptable replacement. We're mainly looking for super energy generation, and Bad Juju does that very well. Your special and heavy can be anything, but preferably they should have bonuses like Grenadier and or Army of One on them. These bonuses regenerate your grenade and melee abilities much faster, which is exactly what we want. Your armor should be focused on discipline and strength, seeing as Bad Juju will be taking care of the intellect that will be missing. Now your exotic armor can technically be one of two picks, Obsidian Mind or Nothing Manacles. Nothing Manacles give you a second grenade which allows you to spam your grenade more, but Obsidian Mind lets you get your super back much faster so that you can spam more. I've had success with both options, but we'll go more in depth with Nothing Manacles in a minute. Any perk that generates bonus super energy on any sort of kill is also very welcome on your armor. Now let's go over the build. If you're using the Nothing Manacles, then obviously we're going to be grabbing Scatter Grenade, but if you're using Obsidian Mind, then you can just pick your favorite. Your Jump can be your favorite, as well as Nova Bomb. I personally like Shatter since we will not be taking Annihilate, and Shatter allows you to hit a wider range of enemies. Your melee attack should be on Soul Rip for the bonus Super Energy. Next, take the Hunger for a longer duration on Energy Drain, and then embrace the Void. Bloom is very appealing, but you lose out on Embrace the Void, and I think Embrace the Void is a pretty big part of this build. I haven't tried Bloom, but if you try it, I'd go probably with Nothing Manacles over Obsidian Mind at first glance. So how do you play this build? The purpose of this build is to use your abilities as much as possible, but also as efficiently as possible. It's to have Energy Drain be active on you as much as you can. Strikes like the Undying Mind and Will of Crota really let this build shine by throwing tons and tons of enemies at you. This build requires you to be incredibly active on the field, punching stuff, constantly killing, but it is some of the most fun I've had on my Warlock. The problem with Nothing Manacles is that if you have a grenade ready, but have that second charge refilling, the second grenade takes quite a while to recharge. In my case, a tier 5 discipline grenade recharges in 25 seconds, but when my second one is recharging, it takes 50 seconds. However, if I have no grenades ready, then it'll go back to its regular time of 25 seconds. This isn't to say that Nothing Manacles are completely inefficient, because there will certainly be periods of time where you're not throwing a grenade for whatever reason. Downtime, hiding, recovering, whatever. Now here's something to be very mindful of with regards to energy drain. It does not stack, nor does it refresh. For example, when you're using Embrace the Void, your grenades will trigger energy drain, but so will your melee and your super. So, I throw a grenade, it deals damage, triggers energy drain, energy drain counts down, 10, 9, 8, 7. Then, let's say I use my melee attack, which also triggers energy drain. That melee attack, which triggers ED, will not refresh the buff. It will simply ignore the effect and you will have wasted it. You need to be very cognizant of that buff on you at all times. The more you're able to have energy drain active on you, the more effective this build will turn out being. However, it's not... Well, it's not really that fun to sit and wait for your buff to expire if your abilities can be used to actually kill things. This is mostly noticed with nothing manacles. If you want to use two grenades back to back, just do it. Efficiency is important, sure, but efficiency doesn't mean anything if you're dead. If using an ability means you'll get a kill or will survive an attack, go for it. You can always switch to a special or heavy weapon to get some grenade energy, assuming you have Grenadier or Army of One. It's really not that practical to wait for energy drain to fall off every single time. What does a rotation of abilities look like? Well, there's not really a rotation, it's just using your abilities in a way that's going to maximize the uptime of energy drain, whatever that ends up being. Using Nothing Manacles places a higher focus on your melee and grenade, whereas Obsidian Mine focuses on your super and your grenade, and I think that both exotics have their place depending on the activity that you're doing, and both do well in most strikes. Undying Mind? Eh, you can use either one. Cerberus of A3? You might want to go with Scatter Grenade for the first half and Obsidian Mine for the boss. Sunless Cell? Obsidian Mine first half, Nothing Manacles for the boss. It varies from strike to strike. Your team composition can also play a factor into what exotic you choose. 
Ideally, you'll have a Night Stalker on your team providing shadow shots that generate orbs on kill. Combine that with a Nova Bomb, and that's a lot of orb generation where you can continue to trade supers back and forth, and that's not even factoring in your third party member. The more orbs you can generate, the better the build can be. It is a very selfish build, focusing exclusively on damage, but, you know, it's fine to have one full Slayer per group. Anyway guys, that's what I have for you on the Ability Spam Voidwalker Energy Drain build. Give it a shot in some Heroic Strikes, let me know what you think. My favorite setup is with Nothing Manacles, The Hunger, and Embrace the Void, but you should definitely tinker with the build to see if you like something a little different. I think it's some of the most fun you can have while grinding out strikes, and it works moderately well for solo play as well. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.